We're back on the Morning Brew with friends, and it's Wednesday. That means it's time for Trending with Joe Marie. Thanks for tuning in with Trending with Joan Marie, where I talk about all that's buzzing and trending online. This past week has been a week of trailers. Oh my goodness, between just new like people dropping their trailers about things and also from the MTV Awards. We have Game of Thrones launch their second trailer for season six, which actually premieres on April or um, on the 24th of this month. So not this coming weekend, but next weekend. So excited. Then we've also got Suicide Squad. They actually dropped their new one. They released new information actually at the MTV Awards awards as well as uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and that one will be dropping in September and it just it looks amazing the book looks amazing and everything uh, we've also got last night Doctor Strange was dropped on the Jimmy Kimmel show so that is very exciting so all you comic book lovers Marvel fans everything I mean there's so much going on right now as well as on the MTV Awards they dropped a new one for Captain America some new fight scene pieces which it just it looks amazing now if you're whether Captain America fan or Iron Man fan, now you're actually able to claim what team you're on. If you go onto Twitter, you're able to do a hashtag Team Captain America or Team Iron Man, and you're actually going to be voting right here, as you can see I did yesterday. I'm Team Iron Man, and it gives you a cute little emoji, but once you do that, it'll actually give you a fun reply, depending on which one you did. And I got this fun one from Captain America, and it was it's pretty fun, so I highly encourage you to do that because the video is hilarious. Um, now, talking about emojis, there was actually a PhD student uh, uh, over at the Minis University of Minnesota, uh, Hannah Miller. She actually came out with a study. She did over 304 students, and it's talking about how emojis are not really as easy to interpret as you would think. So this is just a quick thing for you to know. Be careful about when you're sending emojis because these are what they look like on various phones. So between your iPhone, your Android, any kind of phones, they're, they look the same, but they're not. They're completely different and how people actually interpret them from being happy to being sad to being, I mean, whatever they are, it's just, it's so be careful when you use your emojis. Just a cute, quick little PSA from me for you. Um, SoundCloud users, if you're a fan of that, I'm actually just discovering this. So from it was actually originally an April Fool's joke from Hamburger Helper, but it's been going viral because they dropped a mixtape of five songs and they're actually really awesome. People have been dropping memes and fun jokes about them and I'm gonna actually read a couple lyrics. It's adult friendly and they're pretty fun. It's I've been in the kitchen, whipping, whipping. I've been chefing, mixing with my left hand, water whipping. And I'm stirring, you want beef? I'ma serve it. Water whipping and I'm stirring, you want beef? I'ma serve it. So there you go, that's my little rap game. This is why I don't do that. So that's why I'm keeping my day job here. Um, but go check it out, it has five songs. Um, some of the songs feature um, I Feed the Streets and In Love with the Glove. So it's actually, they're adorable, they're super fun, and definitely something to check out. And they're free and they're still up, so it's not just an April Fool's joke, like, it's actually awesome. Uh, Golden State Warriors play tonight, and they've officially reached a new level of reaching where the Chicago 1996 Bulls are, where there's 73 wins, and it's amazing. However, tonight, they play, what is it, the Memphis Grizzlies, and if they win, they will surpass the 96 Chicago Bulls. Now, if you're not familiar with the 96 Chicago Bulls, I don't know where you've been. You've been hiding under a rock because we've got Michael Jordan, we've got Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, and Steve Kerr. Fun little tidbit about that, he's actually currently the coach of the Golden State Warriors. And so if he actually beats this record, he will have two records under his belt, which will make, I mean, honestly, very fun tidbit for him. Um, recently on YouTube, a new viral video, which is reminding me why I'm very glad I'm an only child, of two brothers playing a trick on their sister when she got her wisdom teeth out, pretending that the zombie apocalypse is happening. You ready? Of course I'm not ready. I don't want to do this. We'll let you know. The Center for Disease Control in Washington, D.C. has issued a viral outbreak warning. State and local officials have reported cases of high fever, nausea, death, and even cannibalism. Stay in place until further notice. Oh, mom's calling. Hey, did you, did you guys get that emergency alert? Yes? You need to get home right now. Um, I got notice of the emergency broadcast system. There's some sort of a weird virus. 
zombie? Police are coming or something? And uh, yeah, it's literally all over the news. Try to put have it a garden hoe isn't no. what we want. So we can only take one pet. Which pet? The cat or the dog? The pet, you oh. idiot! Okay. No! What do we do with the dog? He's the worst! He's already dying! Just leave him! Okay, get we the cat! Okay, okay, I'll pick up the cat. Please. Mom said we're leaving the dog. Okay, that's fine. Millicent, you know where we're gonna go? We're gonna go back home, and you're gonna get in bed, and you're gonna sleep for the next couple hours, because there's no zombie apocalypse. <laughs> so, as you can tell, it's, uh, it's horrible having siblings, apparently, so I'm very glad. Thank you, Mom, for only having me. Um, so, thanks for tuning in with Chenning with Joan Marie. I'd take the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no matter what. Harsh. No matter what. We're going to be back in a couple of seconds of Morning Brew with Friends. we got a special dance performance coming up.